On today's episode, we've got new rumors on the Cybertruck, our first look at FSD Beta 9, Elon Musk on trial, and SpaceX now has fully autonomous rocket-catching boats. Let's get going. New rumors are coming out of a deal between Samsung and Tesla for hundreds of millions of dollars worth of cameras. The Tesla Cybertruck is reportedly going to be utilizing Samsung Electromechanics camera modules. The potential deal between Tesla and Samsung is said to be worth over $400 million. The expectation right now is that these new cameras will be used specifically for the purpose of replacing the side and rear view mirrors on the Cybertruck. Tesla and Elon have not confirmed the report yet, and South Korean sources are being intentionally vague with their reporting, saying that Samsung will supply to the number one American EV manufacturer for a vehicle unveiled in November 2019, which would obviously be Tesla and the Cybertruck. This is great news for two reasons. Number one, Samsung makes really great cameras. Their cell phone cameras are obviously very well regarded, but they also used to make proper digital cameras like the NX1 that were really, really good. So it's an indicator that the cameras substituting for mirrors should have a noticeably higher quality look than Tesla's standard self-driving cameras. And number two, this is a strong signal that Tesla is not too worried about regulations standing in the way of them following through with a mirrorless Cybertruck. We know that multiple automakers have been lobbying the NHTSA to allow them to just go ahead and replace side view mirrors with digital cameras and this could be an indication that regulators are starting to crack this is great news all around if you really stop to think about it the mirror system that we're used to right now is fine but it's far from perfect three cameras with wide angle lenses would eliminate blind spots completely and you'd never have to shoulder check again elon musk made his opening remarks in a wilmington delaware courthouse on monday morning defending tesla's 2.6 billion dollar acquisition of solar energy company solar city yep elon is on trial yet again luckily this time he didn't call anyone a pedophile he's just having to defend an old business decision against some disgruntled investors basically what's going on is a group of tesla shareholders mostly pension funds are claiming that Elon wasted company money by purchasing Solar City back in 2016. Their claim is that it was a bad deal that Musk made only to serve himself and his family members, and they want Elon to give back the $2.6 billion that Tesla spent on the merger. I can see where they are coming from with their angle. Elon did own 22% of all shares in Solar City at the time, about the exact same amount that he owned in Tesla, and Solar City did happen to be founded by two of Elon's cousins. That would lead people to be suspicious. The biggest rebuttal to any of these claims would be the simple fact that over 80% of Tesla shareholders and over 80% of Solar City shareholders all voted in favor of the acquisition deal. It's not like Elon went rogue and just started throwing money away. He presented his case to the investors at the time and they voted overwhelmingly in support of his idea. Elon's idea with the merger being that to accomplish his goal of pivoting Tesla towards a sustainable energy business model, they would need a product that generated green electricity. Tesla obviously already had the battery storage side of things locked down, but they needed to integrate a source of electricity to make the system complete. Sure, they could have bought a windmill company, but solar panels just made way more sense and are more suitable for residential and commercial installations. The claimants in this particular case are going to be trying to prove that Elon threatened or manipulated directors or board members of either company to go along with the merger and that Tesla overpaid for the acquisition of Solar City. The accusations are that Solar City was nearly a worthless company that was on the verge of bankruptcy and could not have been worth the 2.6 billion that was paid by Tesla. As the star witness, Elon spent the whole day on Monday sparring with the shareholder's attorney, who Elon called a bad human being during court proceedings. And that will probably continue through Tuesday as well. Hopefully after that, Elon can get back to work, but the trial will continue for another couple of weeks. The final ruling from the judge isn't expected to come down anytime soon. Expect a few months of deliberation before we know what happens. By the way, folks, we're doing our very first prize giveaway here at the Tesla space for the newsletter subscribers only. We've got a Tesla tequila bottle up for grabs. 
details on how to enter at the end of the video. After all of the drama with timelines and delays, Tesla delivered the newest release of their full self-driving beta software last weekend. This is a much anticipated release with some very key changes for the autonomous driving system, chief among them being the transition to Tesla Vision for all of the car's sensor information. That means no radar information is being used to judge speed and distance, just the camera-based neural net. Tesla didn't include a whole lot of details in their release notes, but they did make sure to reiterate to testers that it is still the human's responsibility to keep themselves and others safe on the road. Tesla wrote this about their FSD software. Quote, it may do the wrong thing at the worst time, so you must always keep your hands on the wheel and pay extra attention on the road. Do not become complacent, end quote. The on-screen visualization has also been updated to show drivers just how their car is seeing the world. Elon calls this the mind's eye of the neural network. We're getting much more lifelike renderings of vehicles, pedestrians, and road markings on the new display. The car can even recognize animals like dogs walking on the road. And we can see that the car is even recognizing when other vehicles brake lights come on, giving us the indication that Tesla Vision is using cues like this to judge the intentions of other drivers on the road. In one of the user videos posted so far, we can see that even at night, the car isn't registering flashing lights from emergency vehicles, they just don't come up on the visualization. But Elon says that this will be coming soon. On Twitter, Elon replied that FSD will soon capture turn signals, hazards, ambulance and police lights and even hand gestures. Then he went on to add that the car will be listening for sirens and alarms while driving. Elon says that the car being able to hear is essential for full self-driving. SpaceX has been showing off their brand new Falcon 9 rocket landing vehicle, a fully autonomous drone ship called a Shortfall of Gravitas. The seagoing platform is based on the Marmac 302 barge and features SpaceX technology to operate autonomously. It is designed to support the landing of rocket boosters in the ocean after they deploy the spacecraft into orbit. That's one big feature that makes the new ship unique from the existing drone barges. Of course, I still love you and just read the instructions. The new addition can navigate itself with full autonomy, meaning it does not require a tugboat to pull it out into position in the ocean. And once it catches the rocket, it can bring the payload home without assistance. The previous two ships can hold their spot in the water by themselves, but they can't travel to and from shore with full automation. If you're wondering why these boats have such long and unusual names, all three vessels are named in honor of now-dead author Ian M. Banks, who wrote the sci-fi novel series Culture from 1987 to 2012. In the fiction novels, the vehicles are sentient starships that feature artificial intelligence with a personality and are capable of selecting their own distinctive name. Elon clearly loved these books and has often recommended people to read them. In other SpaceX news, we are seeing new activity on the Super Heavy Booster prototype at Starbase, Texas. It looks like SpaceX crews have begun installing Raptor engines into the giant booster structure. This could be a positive sign that SpaceX is moving quickly towards the first static fire test of the Super Heavy. This shows that the engineers must be extremely confident in their prototype build because the booster has yet to undergo the cryogenic proofing process. That's where they fill the tanks up with liquid nitrogen to mimic the pressure of spaceflight and see what will happen. Sometimes this test causes the whole vehicle to crumple like an aluminum can. That's what happened to the Starship SN3 prototype. It imploded in a big cloud of fog. So the fact that they've bothered attaching engines before doing that test shows that they have an abundance of faith in this one. That leads us to assume that the prototype build that is at the launch center right now is probably the same booster that will power the Starship into orbit later this summer. Of course, SpaceX could still find some major flaw during the testing phase that sends them back to the drawing board. The Super Heavy is intended to have around 30 Raptor engines installed to reach its full functionality. We're curious to see how many they attach for the first static fire test and then how many will be used to get Starship into orbit for the first time. By the way, for those waiting to see how to enter the Tesla Tequila prize giveaway, we're making you work for it, but it's not so bad. Step one, subscribe to the Tesla Space newsletter if you're not already at the teslaspace.com. 
Step two, open your newsletter every Tuesday morning and find your unique referral link at the bottom of the email. Step three, spam that link out to people that you think will love Tesla and SpaceX news as much as you do. The more successful referrals you get, the more entries into the prize draw. And for those of you not familiar with the Tesla Space newsletter, it delivers all of the updates on Tesla, SpaceX, Elon Musk, and of course Neuralink in a quick, fun, and easy to read package. Again, link to sign up is in the description below. It's the teslaspace.com. Once you sign up, be sure to check your promotions tab as well to make sure our emails are going to your main inbox. If you want to continue to learn about everything regarding Tesla, SpaceX, and Elon Musk, we've got two more video options for you on the screen to check out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up today if you liked it and subscribe to our channel for weekly content just like this.